Hi, I'm Alessia and welcome to today's workout. Today we are doing a quickie planks workout. I know so many of us don't like planks, but the thing is, unless we practice something, we're not gonna get better at it. So I wanted to do this quickie planks workout that you could do on its own before another workout or after to really build up that strength and hopefully eventually love planks. So you don't need anything today except your mat. And with that, let's get into it. Before we even move, I wanna make sure that our form is really good. So those hands are underneath those shoulders. You're pressing into the space between your shoulder blades. So that spot between your shoulder blades right here is puffing up. That belly is pulled in, bum is in line with the rest of your body so it's not too high or too low. And your booty is engaged, it's like you're pressing through the heels of your feet. Good, you're looking about a foot in front of you. Just holding here, settling into this. Good. Now let's send those hips up and back, getting a nice stretch in the back of the legs, under the arms, downward dog here. And then one vertebrae at a time, curling forward into that plank. So downward dog, press it back, and then come forward into that plank, really slow and controlled every single time. We're warming up that body here. Good. Now, this is quickie planks, but we're gonna do a bunch of different planks. So it's not like we're gonna be on our wrists the whole time. I'm gonna switch it up a bunch so that you barely notice the time just flying by today. <laughs> Hopefully. Good. One more time, send those hips up and back, and then come forward into this plank, hold. Let's take that right hand, tap that left shoulder, left hand, tap right shoulder. So alternating shoulder taps here without shaking those hips side to side right away. If this is too much, if you are trying to build that strength, come down to your knees and then continue with those shoulder taps. Really though, the key is not shaking those hips side to side. That's what's gonna really build the core strength. So making sure that core is active and engaged. If you're not sure what that feels like, do a quick cough right here. <sighs> That's that core work that I want you to feel throughout this entire workout. Good, if you can, you're on your feet. For four, three, two, last one here. Hold it, I want you to tap that right knee down to the mat without moving the rest of your body and then left knee down. So right knee taps left knee taps. You're not shaking those hips and the rest of your body is not coming down with it. Really light tap and up, good. Breathe here. So good, almost there. Whew. Just four, three, two, last one here. We come straight down onto our forearms. Elbows are right underneath those shoulders. Everything else about the plank is the same. The bum is in line with the rest of your body. Ooh, let's dip those hips over to one side and then up and over, let's dip them to the other side. Right away if you need to, knees come down. Good, so up and over, really trying to create this rainbow shape. So you're pulling your core up and in and then over to one side, up and in, over to the other side. Good. Whoo. Core should definitely be warm now. Good, up and over. If you need to, you're on those knees. If you can, you're on the toes though. So I'm going to whoo, come up to the toes. Good. For four, three, two, Last one, come back to the middle. I want you to tap one foot out, then the other. Side toe taps here. If you're on your knees, if this is too much from your toes, then you're doing one side toe tap for four. Good, and then other side. Otherwise, you're doing one and one if you're on those toes. And your bum is always in line with your body. Like you've got a surfboard on your back. It would be flat. Right? But if I had my bum up here, then that surfboard wouldn't be hitting my entire backside body. It's gotta look either like this from the knees, 
<laughs> or like this from the feet. Good. Woo. For six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Hold the forearm playing from the knees or the toes for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on to your side. Woo. Warm? <laughs> I'm warm. Okay. Let's come into a forearm plank. So bottom elbow underneath bottom shoulder. We'll start on our bottom knee. Top foot is down and we lift up. Good. Let's reach that top arm nice and tall. We'll dip the hips down, lightly tap the mat and lift up. Good. Inhale, lower. Exhale, lift. Good. So we're really lightly tapping down. No weights coming down. And we're using that bottom oblique to lift up. Inhale and exhale. Really important here is not to sink into this bottom arm. I want you to lift up and out of it. Good. And if you want to make it harder, you're on those feet, dipping it down and lifting. Okay, up to you. I'm going to stay here. Good. For four, three, two, Hold it up right here, pulse it out. Eight, Ooh, seven, one inch up, one inch down. Six, five, four, three, two. Come down really quick. Just give that bottom form a little bit of a shake. And then come right back into that. This time, hand is behind the head. We tap that top elbow down toward the floor and then open it up so the elbow faces high. Good. Tap and up. You're still on that bottom forearm and we're really trying not to sink into that shoulder or the oblique. So press the floor away, lift the bottom oblique away from the mat and then get back into it. And again, you can come to your feet if you want to make it harder. Good. For four, three, two, last one. Hold it here. Reach that top arm high. Just hold eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bum is down. Coming on to our bums now. So those hands will be planted. Those fingers are gonna face toward the feet. Elbows stay nice and close into the body. Let's press through those feet and lift that bum up. So when you lift up, your shoulders are away from those ears. So press into the hands, press the mat away, shoulders away from the ears, and then the ankles are under the knees. So if you look like this, I want you to shift the weight back, or you could even walk your feet a little bit more forward. Good, all right. Let's lift that right knee in toward the body. Bring that foot down, other side. So now we're doing a reverse plank with some additional core work here. We're basically making our way around the body. So we did a regular plank, a front plank, right? From our hands and then down to our forearms. Then we came onto our side. Now we're doing a reverse plank and then we're gonna do it all again. All right, I'm telling you, this class is gonna fly. Good. Press the floor away, really strong core, strong in that upper body. Good. Use those lower abs to pull the knees in each time. For six, five, four, three, two. Just hold it here. Hold, hold, hold. Can you lift that bum up a little more? Squeeze the bum. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two and one. Bum comes down, feet together, knees apart. Let's lean it forward and just rock side to side. A little bit of a break. Breathe. We're going to do that all again, focusing on the other side and that side plank. Good. When you're ready, come on up. Let's swivel those legs behind us and come back into a regular plank from the wrist. So stepping one foot back, then the other. Again, let's make sure we have that good form, shoulders over those wrists, pull that belly in, bodies in one long line, press into the space between your shoulder blades, engage everything, okay? Then let's press those hips up and back, getting a little bit of relief here, downward dog. 
Then coming forward, one vertebrae at a time, really slow and controlled, till that body is parallel to the floor, and then we press those hips up and back. Good. Good. Really controlled here. Try not to rush through this. This is a quick workout. I want you to feel every single bit of the work. Good. And if you're finding this excruciatingly hard, then I really encourage you to come back. The more you practice this, the better you're going to be at planks. Good. On this next one, let's hold it here. We'll tap opposite shoulder. And right away, if you need to come down to your knees, you do that. Really trying not to rock those hips side to side. So much control. Shoulders away from those ears too. Try not to let them creep up. Roll them down the back. Good. Engaging that core. <clears throat> that cough is so helpful to remember um, and remind us what it feels like to have that core engaged. Good, for six, five, four, three, two, hold it here. I want you to tap one knee down, then the other. One knee down, then the other. So much control. Not moving the rest of the body. It's such a light tap in the knee and there's no weight in the knee. So it's not like we're coming down and resting here. We're staying up and one knee at a time is just tapping that mat. Everything else stays so still. Good. For six, five, four, three, two, Last one, just hold this plank either from the knees or the toes for eight, seven. Push the floor away, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come straight onto your forearms here. If you were on your knees, try and come onto your toes this time. We dip those hips over to one side and then up and over, other side. Good, now right here, keep going. I just wanna show you something. If you are like this, hands clasped, I want you to open up those hands, press those forearms into the mat, and lightly pull your elbows toward you while you're doing this plank. You're gonna engage even more muscles in that core, okay? Good, so those elbows aren't actually moving, but they are lightly pulling toward you, and you'll feel it. You'll feel your core light up even more, and that's what we want. Good, for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. Last one, meet me in the middle here. Tap one foot out and then the other. Bum stays in line with the rest of your body. You're lightly pulling those elbows toward you without actually moving. Core's on fire. If you need to, one knee down, four toe taps, and then other side. Up to you. We will not be here for much longer. Just eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Just hold either from the knees or the toes. Just eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come on to your other side. Whoo! I'm sweating over here. <laughs> okay, bring that bottom forearm down, elbow right underneath shoulder. Bottom knee is down, and let's come off that bottom hip, reach that top arm up. Bottom hip lightly taps on the mat and lifts. Good, inhale and exhale. Pressing the floor away with this bottom arm. So we're really lifting up and out of this shoulder, up and out of the oblique. Good, if you want to, you bring that top foot up. Maybe you come into a full side plank, up to you. I prefer to be here. Good. Ooh. Really focusing here. Just six, five, four, three, two. Hold it here, pulse. One inch up, one inch down. Eight, seven, six, five. I'm gonna give this forearm a little bit of a break. In three, two, and one. Come on, that bottom hip. I just want you to shake this out. I know. I know the forearms can start to bother us, wrists and stuff, we're moving through this really quick so we're not in any one place for too long. Come back onto that bottom forearm, 
hand behind the head. We're in this side plank. We tap down with that elbow and up. Elbow comes down, elbow reaches straight up toward the sky. Now, we're probably starting to get tired, right? I know I am, I don't know about you. So the first thing to go is we start to sink here. I want you to lift up and out of this. Okay, so important to protect the shoulder. Good. Good. Almost there. Just six, five, four, three, two. Hold it right here, reach the arm up. Good, hold for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bum comes down, turning over onto the other side here. So this last time we, well our hands plant, fingers face toward the feet, and we planted those feet kind of close to us so our knees were bent at a 90 degree angle when we came up, right? This time I want you to walk those feet a little farther away, either knees slightly bent or extended fully, you're here. So this is the hardest option. This is easier, feet planted is the easiest. Okay, and we're gonna do a similar thing where we pull one knee in, whoo, and then the other. This is really hard. <laughs> it's really hard, especially if your feet are out here. We're lifting the bum up, we're pushing the floor away with our hands. Shoulders away from those ears, chest nice and proud. If this becomes too much, you walk those feet in, you come back here. Good. And you keep going with those marches. Good. Core nice and strong. Just eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, hold this reverse plank, just hold. Squeeze the bum, lift it up a little more. Shoulders away from those ears. I know, I keep reminding you, but so important. Just four, three, two, and one. Bum comes down, feet together, knees apart. Rock it side to side. We close this off with one big breath. Inhale, reach those arms up. Hands together, exhale, bring them down to heart center. Ha, Woo. Hope you enjoyed that quickie little planks workout. If you found that really hard, like I said, I encourage you to come back to it. If you found that easy, you're a champ because that, that is not easy. <laughs> Planks are not easy and doing so many of them is not easy, so amazing. Um, as always, let me know if you have any feedback, questions, comments, or anything just below this video and I'll see you next time.